Today, let's talk about packing wheel bearings, everybody's favorite pastime. Now, what I'm going to show you today is how to properly pack a racing wheel bearing and hopefully save some time, make a less mess, but most importantly, improve the performance of the bearing itself. Commonly, these bearings are overpacked. We never want to pack a racing bearing more than 50% full, so that means no more than half full of grease, and that's a max point. The difference between a racing bearing and a typical automotive bearing that you may pack completely full is that a racing bearing turns a lot higher RPM, and it gets there really fast. So it generates a lot of temperature really fast. It also has a high thrust load against it because race cars have cornering forces uh, that we're going through. Now all this means that a racing bearing doesn't have time to push out all that excess grease in a slow manner like a regular automotive bearing would. So we need to start out with less grease so it doesn't build too much heat trying to evacuate all of that excess. And as it does so, it pushes out much needed lubricant from the bearing. So the way we're going to actually pack the bearing physically is, you see here I'm using one of our uh, syringes. I'm actually going to insert the syringe right in between my bearing rollers, and then I'm going to squeeze on it, and I'm going to watch the grease come right to the top of those rollers and then right to the bottom. So I fill the grease up to the top and to the bottom of those bearing rollers. I'm going to skip the next roller, and then I'll inject grease right into the, to the next one. So I'm basically going to fill every other bearing roller. That's it. No extra grease in the cage on the outside or the bottom side. No extra grease in the hub. Just filling each cavity between the rollers and only doing every other roller. Now, when I'm fortunate enough and have one available, I'll use one of our precision bearing packers. This works the same way as the syringe. It's just a lot faster and quicker because I can have it bench mounted and squeeze the gun with my hand. But once again, I'm still going to just do every other roller. So I'm going to fill one, skip one, and then fill the next. I'll go right around uh, the bearing. No extra grease in the hub. Install those. You should be able to run these bearings in most applications for 1,500 to 2,000 laps, that's assuming a, a, a short track type of uh, left turn application before you have to repack. When you do go to repack, just like we did beginning, we're going to thoroughly clean the bearing. So start the bearing completely clean, uh, uh, dry it out, and then pack every other roller. And that's it.